In this video, we want to look at some homework on weakest precondition, where we try to figure out what weakest preconditions are by examination. To start off, I want to look at notation. Weakest precondition is a function that inputs a command and a predicate, that's the post condition. To identify the command, we put quotes around it. So in problem number one, we wanted to find the weakest precondition of x becomes y, where the post condition is x is equal to 5. Well, this weakest precondition is a predicate that describes all states that when we start in a state satisfying that predicate, when this command is executed, we end up in a state where x is equal to 5. Well, if x is y, y had to be 5 for x to be 5. And so the predicate describing this is that y is 5. That's the only way we end up in a state where x is 5. Notice I use equivalence here because weakest precondition does give us a predicate and predicates are equivalent to one another. So weakest precondition of x becomes x plus 1, where we end up in a state where x is between 0 and 1, is, well, let's think about it. If I add 1 and I end up with a value between 0 and 1, I had to start in a state where x was 1 less than it. So x would have had to be between negative 1 and 0 so that when I add 1 to it, I get a value between 0 and 1. Make sense? Now, the weakest precondition of x becomes y, where x is equal to y, well, anytime x becomes y, it's going to be equal to y. The predicate that describes all is true. Weakest precondition of x becomes 4 when x is equal to 5 after. Well, 4 is never 5, so no inputs will satisfy this. The predicate corresponding to none or the empty set is false. So in this homework, we just found weakest precondition by examination. In the future, what we're going to do is try to determine ways of finding weakest preconditions for various commands.